This tomato plant looks diseased. It's the only one I have like this. Now I just found a grub in the soil on the same garden bed, so I'm thinking that grubs probably eaten on the roots on this plant. Since I have 45 tomato plants this year, I think I can afford to lose one. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up. Alright, I've removed the tomato cage around this diseased plant and gave it to a plant that might appreciate it more. Now let's dig this up and see if we can find some grubs. I don't see anything. I'm not sure. Oh, there's a grub. Yep. Alright, I found a grub. He's a small one though. There must be more. So there's one grub that was probably eating on that tomato. Throw them in this wheelbarrow of water. See if I can find some more. Oh, there's another grub. Another one. Threw him in the wheelbarrow too. There's a worm. He's okay. I'm gonna put him somewhere over here in the garden bed. Oh, looks like a another worm. Another worm. I'm gonna let them stay in there. I hope they're not eating the roots. Well, <clears throat> it might be too late to salvage this tomato plant, especially since I roughed it up taking it out of the garden. I think I'm going to go ahead and dig a hole and put that tomato plant back in there. If it dies, no big loss. Maybe that now that I've uh, removed those two grubs, maybe the plant could come back. But I don't think it will. It'll probably die especially since I just hurt the root structure. This tomato plant's looking wilted. It's been like that for about a week. So this is what I found next to the tomato roots. Two grubs. Here's the tomato plant that was suffering. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna wash off the dirt so I can get a better look at the roots. Not sure about that. I don't see any problems with these roots. So I dug a deep hole. Put this tomato plant in there really deep. Well, this would be an interesting experiment for me to see if a tomato plant can survive such rough treatment. There's a worm. I'll leave him in the garden bed. But I hope he's not up to any trouble in here. Well, that tomato is now a lot shorter than it used to be. Even this onion plant is taller than that tomato plant. That's a purple onion, by the way. An heirloom onion from Italy. We'll check back in on this guy and see if he makes a recovery. He does have a little blossom. He's trying to be productive. Trying to make some fruit for us. Well, 
Well, this tomato plant surprised me. It perked back up and it looks like it's in fairly good shape. The leaves look like they're uh, well hydrated. They have water flowing through them. So that means the root structure was able to reestablish itself even though I had roughed up the plant, even though I had grubs eating on it. It has blossoms. And it has uh, other blossoms that have already dried up. Looks like they've been pollinated. Here's a blossom that appears to be pollinated. I'm gonna pull up, yeah. There's a baby tomato growing there. It doesn't look that great. Let's see, how about this one? No, this one did not get pollinated. I do see a little baby tomato growing there. It's got a little black mark on there. I don't know if that's gonna make a good fruit or not. But hopefully this new blossom up here will get pollinated and make some good fruit for us. So what I learned and what I'd like to share with you is that tomato plants can be roughed up. They can be dug up out of the ground, cleaned off, you know, to remove the grubs and or if you want to transplant it, you can dig it up for that reason too and it will recover more than likely I haven't even been watering it very much uh, we haven't had any rain seems like in a couple of weeks now um, it seems very dry to me uh, I've just watered it a few times lightly so I'm very impressed that this plant is doing as well as it is do you remember the tomato plant that fell over and I covered the stem up with dirt. Well, here's the plant today, looking very healthy with almost no watering, just a little bit of watering. So here's the location where I covered it up with dirt on the stem. Let's see if I can point this out to you. you. See that tomato growing right there? In fact, this plant that fell over and is uh, covered with a dirt in a second location is probably producing the best looking tomato out of all the plants I put in the ground from this specific variety. This variety is an heirloom tomato called Costaluto Genovese. It's quite a long name for a plant, but my cage plants are doing alright too. I'm really surprised at how well they're doing considering it's been hot and dry. This cage plant is a different variety and it is a Cherokee purple and there's a Cherokee purple tomato growing right there. Keep growing those tomatoes.